How is everybody doing? It's Nick from Mining Office, and today I've received a package from Parallel Miner. Uh, they sent me some server power supplies with uh, some other goodies in here that we're going to take a look at. We're going to unbox it and uh, review it. So, um, yeah, big thanks to everybody at Parallel Miner who sent me this stuff for, uh, for review. I really appreciate it. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get it tested out and uh, give you guys my impressions on what's in here. So, uh, yeah, let's get it unboxed and uh, see what goodies are contained inside. I'll leave a link to the Parallel Miner website uh, in the description below. Um, you guys already know they're a great source of products uh, when it comes to mining, if it's power supplies, motherboards, all that good stuff. Uh, so I don't have to talk about it anymore. Let's get to the unboxing. Let's go through the contents of the package. The first thing they sent us uh, is a pair of server power supplies. Um, now right away you can see uh, the blue power plug and the green sticker. That means these are the platinum rated server power supplies. They are 1200 watts on 240 volt and uh, 900 watts on 120 volt. All right, so let's get this opened up. Um, all right, so these are the HP server power supplies. Like I said, platinum rated. Um, this is the side where you plug in the breakout board. Uh, they also sent me two of those, so we'll get to that. Um, this is the breakout board side. Here you plug in your power cable, and there is no on-off switch on this. So if it's plugged in, uh, the server power supply is on. The control for delivering power to your cards uh, will come from the breakout board, all right? Um, so yeah, very nice. Um, I'm definitely gonna use these. Uh, the ones I have are currently silver rated. So I'll do a test with the uh, power meter I have. I'll, I'll, I'll see how much it's pulling now for the five 1660 supers that it's running. And uh, then I'll plug in this one and uh, we'll be able to see the power difference, right? So uh, that'll be cool. Uh, so that's good. Let's move on to the next item. Um, next thing, they, let's just wait, we'll save that for last. That's one of the breakout boards. Um, they send me a remote access management tool. So uh, this is something we'll get to later. Maybe I'll make another video about this, but uh, you are able to plug this into the uh, ZSX breakout board. And that way you can control putting your rig online or offline with this. So I don't want to go into too many details because there's a lot of stuff to look at. Uh, again, we'll save this for another video, but very cool. We'll definitely uh, be trying this out at a certain point. All right, go in here. Let's get these out of the way. So a bunch of uh, six pin to six plus two pin PCIe cables, 16 of these in here, all right? Um, these are also 16 gauge cables, so very good quality. They also sent me 12 of these. These are 18 gauge splitters, all right? So they are six pin to six plus two pin, as you can see here, all right? And um, the splitters, I would say, the quality of this is even more important in the sense that um, most of your PCIe cables will be 16 gauge. Splitters, you'll see all sorts. So these are 18 gauge, which is good quality in my book, the ones you wanna buy. Um, again, if you look on Amazon, eBay, you'll find 18 gauge. You'll find a lot of 20 gauge too, uh, which will be not as good quality. So uh, make sure when you're going for splitters, especially if you're mining something like Ravencoin, um, I think uh, you wanna pay attention to that. So um, just be noted here, these are six pin, right? to six plus two, some splitters will be eight pin inputs. So you have to pay attention to that when you're trying to get some of these, okay? Um, so yeah, a bunch of those. Um, the breakout boards we'll save for last. I'll just put them on the side. And we have a lot of cables in here. Um, this one is the 24 pin for the motherboard. This goes with the uh, ZSX breakout board. Uh, so maybe I'm doing this backwards. I should do the board before, but we'll, we'll do the wires and you'll understand after. I'll do it all together. Um, so this side will obviously go into your uh, breakout board. And on these two sides, you have the, the 24 pin, which will go to the motherboard. And then you have the eight slash four pin, um, which you can put to your CPU or you'll, you will need to put to your CPU. Um, so I have two of these cables they sent me um, with for the two power supplies, obviously. Um, we also have a Molex splitter here. Uh, so let's say for your uh, H110 BTC where there's two of these Molex connectors. Personally, I don't have one of those boards yet. I don't know if you really need to connect these, but let's say you would have to do that. Well, you can put one end of the breakout board here, Molex four pin, and you have two other Molex four pins that you can plug in. Uh, so we only have two things left. Um, this here is going to be our PCIe six pin uh, to Molex four pin. This is a 24 inch uh, cable and it's 16 gauge. So again, good quality. Um, and I'll show you what this is used for when we get to the breakout board. 
And then the last thing we have is a chain sync cable, all right? Uh, so this, again, is um, to chain your uh, server power supplies together. That's basically it. Uh, the last things we have are the two breakout boards. So this is the ZSX Amp breakout board. Uh, it's their second revision of it, and it's probably the most advanced breakout board on the market. Um, so this is the connector slot where it will connect to the server power supply. Um, this is the uh, sensing four pin Molex connector. It's used for this, uh, the sensing module here, all right? Um, you have the four pin for the chain sync cable to sync it to other power, uh, server power supplies. Here you have the 24 pin for powering your CPU and your 24 pin on the motherboard. Here you have your four pin Molex for the SATA. So this one is to be connected with the, the, the Molex female that goes to uh, Molex and SATA, all right? You have uh, 16 PCIe ports that you can use to power graphics cards and a uh, fan hub with 10 connectors here. Um, this can pull up to 500 watts total if it's available from the power supply and your fans will run at 100% speed, so basically flat out. Um, if not, uh, you have the classic voltage reading and the current reading, which is actually new. Not many breakout boards have this. Uh, it's very nice to have. It's not as accurate when you're pulling lower watts, but the more you pull, the more accurate it is. And we have the on off button, classic, uh, except that this one remembers its state. So that's very important when you have power loss. If you were to set this up, uh, what you would do is your 24 pin obviously would go in here. All right. Um, I'm not seating them in properly because there's no point. I'm just going to show you guys. It's going to become quickly a cable mess, but it's just for the principle. Um, you have this Molex to SATA cable I showed you guys before, which has a Molex and a SATA on this side. Um, that's what this SATA port is for, all right? So you'd plug this in here, all right? Um, if you had the chain link connector to put it to another server power supply, that would go in uh, this slot here. So I won't even put it in, but that's where that would go, all right? And if ever you needed to use this connector, all right, to power uh, Molex, well, you would just plug this into any six pin on the board, basically. And like I said, the remote, um, remote management tool or remote management module is here, all right? So yeah, that's, that's about it. Obviously, the rest of your six pins will go in here. And uh, that's it, that's all. Once you're all set up, you press the power button and you should be good to go. So uh, this is the most complete breakout board I have ever seen. And uh, I'm, I'm honestly looking forward to replacing the ATX PSU in here because I only have six 1660 Supers running in this rig, but um, I need an ATX power supply just to power the motherboard. But all it's doing is powering the motherboard, the CPU and the furthest card but I could easily have all this running on one server power supply. So the rig is shut off now. I'm uh, going to put the Rio RAN meter uh, connected to this connection here, all right? That's just the server power supply, so not the full system. I'm gonna see how much we're normally pulling when we're mining on uh, the first five of these 1616 supers. And uh, then we'll just replace only the server power supply. Uh, the, the breakout board should be compatible with the, the other uh, platinum one, so no problems there. I'll swap only the power supply and we'll, uh, we'll compare the reading at the wall and you'll see the real difference that efficiency makes. And that's pretty much the result we get, 428 watts. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut down uh, the rig again, but I just wanna say that this makes sense. So let's say each card is taking 75 watts, all right? I have five of them on that server power supply. That's about 375 watts uh, that's, that are being pulled. And uh, I mean, with the efficiency of the power supply, that brings it back up, right? Because that 375 watts is being pulled here. However, what's being demanded by the power supply on this end is gonna be higher, right? And that's where the efficiency comes in. So theoretically, just by replacing the power supply with the platinum one, I should see a reduction in this number here. There's that blue plug. And guys, look at the results. 400.5 watts. Basically just swapping out these two server PSUs saved me 27 and a half watts. And that's running low power and only five cards on it, all right? So imagine the difference now if you're loading it twice as much, right? You're saving double the power, 50 watts. So yeah, I'm, I, knew, I knew it was gonna be a conclusive. I didn't know it was gonna be that much though. Okay, I'm giving in. I'm gonna do it with this rig too. It's a, it's a higher powered rig, so I'm curious. I'm, I'm gonna swap out the power supplies. All right, so this silver PSU currently has four cards running off it, 
and it says it's pulling around 690 watts, right? Fluctuates a bit more because it's pulling more. Uh, yeah, we'll call it 690, 693, something like that. So uh, again, same thing. We're just going to swap out the server power supply alone and see how much this number changes. All right, guys, and this time uh, we're saving about 30 to 35 watts. So last time we were at 693, 690, and now we're at 658 to about uh, 661, something like that. So yeah, again, again, savings. I thought it was going to be a little bit more because these are all higher powered cards. But yeah, less watts is less watts. I'm, I'm very happy with this. Next step now and basically final step is going to be to replace this 850X. It's basically just powering the board and one card. So it's, it's not being very efficient right now, even though it's gold. And obviously massive overkill for this rig. So uh, if I end up with double this amount of cards, maybe it'll come back. But I can easily just run this all off this server power supply, thanks to the ZSX breakout board. Basically, all I needed to plug into the board um, was number one, the uh, obviously the 24 pin for the motherboard that also has the 8 slash 4 pin for the CPU. And I also needed to plug in the, uh, the Molex SATA connector because I have the fan hub, which runs off Molex on this rig. So I'll show you guys. So right now it's being powered by my RM850 over there. But uh, yeah, I want to get it running off this SATA. Luckily, I don't need the SATA for an SSD because this rig again has a M.2 NVMe SSD. So yeah, I'm going to just turn this off and I'll check back with you guys when the new breakout board is plugged in. Here's a moment of truth, guys. Everything is working absolutely flawlessly out of the box. So my uh, all my 6 1660 supers are up and running. Um, the estimate here is that I'm using right 35 times 12 would be 420 watts. And let's actually go confirm that now on the watt meter. Um, so we're pulling about 503 watts. So you can see the amperage reading is not super, super accurate, but it gives you a good ballpark estimate. Um, and it's cool to see that now this full 1660 super rig um, of six cards is only pulling 500 watts. Thanks to Parallel Miner and their ZSX breakout board, I saved a full ATX power supply for a future mining rig build. And uh, yeah, I fully powered my system. So big thanks to them. Uh, if you're still here at the end of the video, please like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this.